Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in, Alessandro the Crypto here, I hope you're doing all fine. Bitcoin is finally breaking out from this bearish pattern that we were in the last couple of days and this is a very very bullish sign. So if you were follow my channel and my last couple of videos I was telling you that most likely we are going to see this $8,000 and maybe even reach the 10k level before the halvening event and maybe after the halvening we are going to have another bigger crash if we are gonna have a bigger crash it's not yet guaranteed but at least we're gonna reach some nice price levels before the hovening so I'm watching now what will happen before the hovening I'm still considering to reach the 10k before a potential bigger drop but the good thing about this move is now that we successfully went out of this uh, rising wedge and right now we are looking for new targets so therefore quickly we're going through the uh, smaller time frames because now of course we are overbought everywhere stochastic rsi overbought the 20 moving average is now down here at the uh, 7930 level i still think in case that you still look for a good long position that maybe we can go down again to retest the previous resistance which is now support in theory so we should have now this 7900 over here this 8k level this fib line as a support in theory so if you see that we're going down and you want to buy the dip watch out for this uh, price level down here because right now this should act as a support and also we're going to check also the 200 daily moving average later um, so let's go over to the four hour uh, here quickly the Bollinger Band in the one hour is completely overshooting it to the upside make the older to the upside in the smaller time frames of course we have always these overshoots to the upside uh, from Bollinger Band uh, also MACD bullish cross and everything is uh, pointed towards the upside but also don't forget that anytime soon you can also see a complete retracement back down to the previous resistance test the support and then go straight up again so uh, in case that you're still looking for a long position or a short, don't use high leverage, only use maximum 10x uh, if you're not already in a trade. If you are already in a trade and in profits and you want to take some profits out, maybe increase your uh, leverage maybe to 25x, take some profits out or put a stop loss in your trade to lock in your profits. And uh, we can go, I think, straight away to the daily. Uh, first, we're going to have here quickly a look at the 20 moving average in the 4 hour, which is at 7,800. This moving average is what I'm looking in case of a, a little retracement back down, which is possible because currently we are here in the daily trading above the 200 daily moving average, as you can see here. Right now, we have an overshoot to the upside, but of course, we also need to close above 7,980. And this why I think maybe towards the end of the day, in case that we are not going up here to test this 8,850, so the next fib line here, based on the bigger move um, from 14,000 down to 3,800, I think 8,800 and then up here 9,100 is the next potential uh, resistance zone up here. Maybe we're gonna have a complete retracement back down to the 200 daily and to this FIB line here at 8K, uh, confirm it as a support and then continue to trade to the upside before the halvening. Because here in the daily also we are overbought in stochastic and also in the RSI we still have some room left, but it's really depending if we're gonna close today above the 200 daily or not. Right now we are trading above, so everything is good and we should keep the price up here above 8,000 in order to maybe be in a really beginning stage of a big bull run to the upside and maybe even break this 10k uh, resistance area up here. In case that today we're gonna go again towards the 200 daily or maybe even close uh, below, um, this could be some bearish signs and the sentiment could switch immediately back to bearish, but we really have to wait and see what will happen. So far this move is good, let's hope this is a confirmed breakout. Uh, we have a bit of volume coming in, but nothing spectacular right now, but uh, let's uh, wait we still have some more hours uh, to go for today and also if we go over to the daily here you can see that we are overshooting it to the upside here the Bollinger Band so a little retracement is possible but as you know Bitcoin when uh, we have these kind of moves and pumps 
sometimes it's unstoppable and it just continue to pump without any retracement nothing so let's wait and see what uh, will happen and if we go to the bigger time frame here to the weekly you can also see that after closing the weekly candle above the 20 weekly moving average right now we are pumping like crazy to the upside we also brought here the RSI above the 50 so if this week we can really close at these price levels and also close here the RSI above the 50 I think we are good to go at least towards 10k before the halfening and don't forget that we have some future gaps above of us we can go to the four hour time frames so let me quickly check here the next one is at 9120 so most likely we are now on the way to fill this gap and if we are able to really break this 10k resistance then we could be good to go towards 11,800 this is where the next CME gap is lining up here at $11,800 this one is a very old one since uh, August 2019 so in theory we should go also up there to fill uh, that gap so let's go back to the bitstamp chart and let's open up again the weekly time frame because here you can see the, this clear red line here coming from 20,000, 14,000 and right now we should have this resistance here at around uh, $10,700. So I still think there is a high chance that we may be getting rejected there, maybe at the halvening event and then see a major dump to the downside. But in case that we are not creating here this double top formation, but breaking here these $10,500 and start to trade here above $10,500, then I think we are probably good to go to at least 11,800 and maybe even test again 14,000, 16,000 or maybe even 20,000 before any kind of corrections. But this breakout that we saw today is already a good sign and indicates that we should be good to go towards our targets here between 9,100 and 10,500. So let's see where this uh, brings us. And also I want to share with you that we are outperforming completely the S&P and also other assets like gold. We are currently about seven percent above gold than the s p 500 so as i told you also in my last video i think as soon as we are seeing in all assets a bull market again bitcoin and crypto is gonna outperform everything and that's why you should be always holding your cryptos especially bitcoin for the long term only trade with small amounts keep the most of it safe in your hardware wallet and don't touch it and remember in order to take advantage of these pumps and dumps you can trade bitcoin and other cryptos with the leverage up to 100x like here on bybit or bityard femex is also a very good exchange where i can trade also gold so if you need an account on those exchanges go down below to my video description because here you find all the links to these exchanges and with my links you can get some sign up bonus so you can start to trade with that money completely riskless of course to get all the full rewards you have to put a little deposit but you can also withdraw it again or just trade with that small amount of money it's not much so go ahead and check it out and also don't forget to join our free discord trading chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome you find the link also down below here and i'm doing the live streams over on twitch right now so make sure also to follow me over on twitch so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content you know what to do make also sure to subscribe to the channel because i do daily ta videos and also you can participate to my $10 Bitcoin giveaway that I do with every 100 subscribers and don't forget the next giveaway will be of $50 worth of Bitcoin because we're coming very close to the milestone of 1000 subscribers so let's see if we can break this 1000 subscriber before the happening which is coming up in less than two weeks that would be very wonderful guys so thank you very much for your support let's bring Bitcoin up to 10k have some great trades and we see us all in the next one. Bye!